Ghost Man Strange Bun Yip Translated in the original Australian to mean devil or evil spirit, also known as the clan Prateri. It's a creature of Aboriginal mythology. It lives in swamps, billabongs, creeks, riverbeds and waterholes all over Australia. Bunyip in the Wula, Wula, Wumba, Wumba language means devil or evil spirit. Aboriginal peoples used to tell tales of creatures that stalked the waterways and met any prey item that come close. Creatures had developed a taste for people, mostly children. Many of the modern sightings that have come from Australia, Australian people come in a wide variety of descriptions, scaly, hairy, big, small, skinny, beefy, and so on. The bunyip, then, is represented as uniting the characteristics of bird and alligator. as a head resembling an emu, a long bill at the extremity of which a transverse project, projection on each side. Serrated edges like the bone of a stingray, its body and legs partake of the nature of the alligator. Hind legs are remarkably thick and strong. Forelegs legs are, such, are, no, are much longer, but still of great strength. Extremities are furnished with long claws, but the backs, but the blacks say its usual method of killing its prey is by hugging it to death. When in the water it swims like a frog, and when on shore it walks on its hind leg with its head erect, in which, pe- which position it measures 12 or 30 feet in height. The bunyip has many descriptions. Some say it's a dog-like face Got fur and a horse like tail, flippers, wars like tusks, a duck like bill. Others think the creature's appearance similar to a snake, the burnt man in a beard. This, this creature is described to gobble up children and livestock in several Aboriginal birth time stories if they come too close to the water's edge. Bunyip is also said to prey upon the women and children of Aboriginal tribes during the night. It's hard to tell what the bunny yip looks like because its claims are variations, but all the scientists agree it's definitely an aquatic mammal. Sightings 1. Legend says a man named Bunny Yip broke the rainbow spirits, rainbow serpent's greatest law by eating a totem animal, banished by a good spirit. By the good spirit, Barmy, the man became an evil spirit that lured tribesmen and his livestock into water so he could eat them all, all of them. One of the first recorded accounts of the Bunyip, Bunyip took place in 1818 when James Manahan, explorer Hamilton Hugh, both found enormous bones in Lake Bunnahurst, located in South New South Wales of Australia, described as a creature similar to mandate, mandate or hippopotamus. History. In the mid-1830s, George Rankin discovered fossilised bones in Wellington Caves, located in New South Wales of Australia, later to be followed by explorer Thomas Mitchell, British and to Tottenham's Sir Richard Owen described the, b- the bones to be remained prehistoric when miserable dip prad dot tan. On July of 1845, the Jew Long Advertiser describes the bunyip in a great detail. It is also the first recorded use of the term bunyip. In 1847, a strange skull was found on the Mantarambridgeri River near Baranalad in New South Wales. It later put on its expedition Australian Museum in Sydney. The skull was also proven to be the only to be proven the only to be cranium of a disfigured horse or calf. 
explanations. Some candidates for known species, such as leopard seals, have been suggested, or an elephant seal. It believed that Bunyip could also be a surviving bit dip prod a dot of town. Popular media Bunyip is a summonable creature in Scribonauts games. A strange in a horror movie titled Bunyip is about a group of city folk who decide to take a hike in the Australian wilderness but end up getting lost having to survive against a legendary creature. Another horror Australian horror film, a horror movie titled Red Billabong pits two brothers who don't undercover the family secrets. We realize their friends go missing, but don't realize that legendary Bunyip is to blame and now is stalking them. Bunyip appears in the animated series The Secret Saturdays. In Australian children's book, the, the Bunyip of Berkeley's Creek, Bunyip tries to figure out what Bunyips look like. The other animals describe Bunyips as a horrible creature, so Bunyip decides to leave alone where he can be as handsome as he likes. In Melbourne, there's a statue to statue the Bunyip of Creekley, Berkeley Creek carrying his bundle street stick. Bunyip was a titan featured in Godzilla, King of the Monsters, hibernating Alberta's rock, Australia. Although its name only appeared on a monitor, it was awakened by good horrors Alpha Corn. A Bunyip appears to be appears as a docile figure in the Alpha Sonic series. A Bunyip named Aurora appears in a magazine series by Tori and Carrie Sutherland. Nori kills Kill is a Bunyip feature only in Tai, the Tasmanian tiger, who serves an ally who begins a whole quest, a mysteric, mystic talisman to vent a calamity. In reality, Tai can also temporarily be surrounded by Bunyip granting him invisible liberty, a one-hit kill on all enemies. In the second and third games, Mecca Bunyips appear, and though they are based on Bunyips, they function more like Gundam suits. Ding Godzilla from the Crash Bandicoot series may have been inspired by the Bunyip.